Hey guys, this is Nate Story with Bright Eagle Tech, and now we're going to talk about flexible plugs. So flexible plugs have been re become really, really popular in the indoor growing space recently because they hold together, they don't wash through your hydroponic system uh, that much, and they're pretty darn easy to handle. Um, so this has all led to kind of this boom in flexible plugs lately. Um, flexible plugs are just a peat or a cocoa core or some other uh, mix. Some folks will use vermicompost, some folks will use other things. Um, but they're basically kind of this soil mix, uh, soil, well, this soil list, right? It's all organic matter, it's peat or core or per, something like that. They mix it together with a polymer, okay? So this is a polymer that they mix in. Think of it as kind of like a rubbery glue. And it all goes in and, it, and they pack it into the trays and it sets. And uh, once that glue sets, they're able to pull it out and it's all one piece. So this is really, really cool. Um, so pros, uh, these things are really easy to handle. They're durable. They are not gonna break apart in your system and wash all through your system. There's a lot of them out there in different sizes, so you can find the right size for your application almost guaranteed, as well as uh, a lot of different interesting mixes. Um, so those are kind of the pros. The cons are that a lot of them, if you buy them loose, you have to manually place them in trays and plant them. Um, and they're a little bit slow to compost, okay? It takes quite some time. Those are the cons, but you know, by and large, our customers really love these things, and if given the choice between loose and uh, loose mix and something like this, they almost always choose this type of a thing. So, um, by and large, I think the pros far outweigh the cons with these things. Honestly, I'd never used these things up, up until the last probably two years, when a lot of our farmers really started to adopt them and use them. And uh, our farmers really drove us towards adopting these things and uh, starting to use them. And now that we started, we love them. We use them a lot. And actually, we like them so much that we sell quite a few of them too. You can get these in a whole bunch of different sizes depending on the crop that you're trying to grow. We prefer the kind of the long, thin ones because it reaches back into the tower quite nicely. And they're just a little bit easier to handle. Overall, it's a really great product. We really love it. Uh, enough that, of course, that we offer it on the store. Um, but if you want to find out more, definitely check out the USU uh, Substrates webinar. It's a great webinar with the guys from Port Americas. They go into a lot of detail on these things, as well as a bunch of other substrates in helping you, the farmer, decide what is the best substrate for your application. So think about it hard. Check out the USU course. And uh, hopefully this was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, please uh, list them below. And as always, subscribe.